Welcome to another AWS Unorganized. I'm your host, Chillup, the Flying Philip, and welcome to the lounge. Now, originally, I planned to have Zach here as kind of a hostage situation, but then a new idea sprung upon my head during, a, of course, another one of my th meditation sessions. I've decided to send him back for the time being. Why that is? Well... <laughs> Who reveals all their chess plans in the middle of a video? I mean, Philip could be watching for all I know. But, putting that aside for now, here's a match to finally conclude a feud that uh, Philip has admittedly forgotten about. Daniel Bryan Danielson going up against Big Kaz XL Morrissey the first. But that Garfield logo is, uh, well, guess where we're live from? Of course, Albuquerque. But, uh, yes, we're finally concluding this feud. Uh, it started with, uh, Daniel Bar Big Cass didn't like Brian for the odd position of his nipple. Meanwhile, Daniel Bryan didn't like Cass because he felt that his ass was so big that whenever he let one, let one rip, it would damage the ozone layer. So now, these two are finally settling their feud. Which, I mean, this is a big time to finish this feud. After all, oh, coming out with the eco-friendly title. But this is a big time, too, as the uh, upcoming 2K22 season is drawing near. And winning this match could help secure a spot in the next season. If they don't, then who knows. Also, this is a uh, 2 out of 3 falls match. So in case there's any, like, shenanigans, it won't just be an immediate end. No, no, no. These two have to go the distance. I mean... If you can go against Hangman Adam Page for 60 minutes, then surely you can go the distance to a against Big Cass XL W. Morrissey the first. Colin. First. God, good lord, these two have a lot of names. Colin Big Cass XL W. Morrissey. Yep, speaking of which, here he is. He is 7 feet tall. Which, I have been informed by his former partner Enzo that that is not something you are able to teach. Fun fact of the day. I didn't know this until now, personally, but... Hey, you know, the more you know. Yeah. Now, Kaz had quite some history here in uh, AWS. He started off as a member of uh, the Big Gonad stable alongside Steve Harvey, Gonard, and of course, their leader, Pink Guy. Then after uh, the Blues Brothers won that Civil War match, Big Cass has been the only member of the band to really be able to stick around since, uh, you know, Pink Guy had to leave due to the match stipulation. Steve Harvey left to focus on Family Feud for a while before returning at this recent Rumble. And Gonard is, was running away from the police, so during all that time, Big Cass was the one that was able to stick around. Had a team match with Enzo against Homer... Uh, being a couple rumbles, and of course this feud with Daniel Bryan Danielson. So this has been quite the uh, trip that Big Cass has been going through. But of course he has the somewhat new guy. I mean, this is, I believe this is actually Daniel Bryan Danielson's first match, if I'm not mistaken. Because every other time it's been just either backstage shenanigans or uh, that one interview where he got attacked. That's all I can remember off the top of my mind. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong, but it is kind of a late night. And admittedly, I'm not used to being alone again. Said so someone, oh, some smart move by the seven foot tall man being able to jump over that sweep and even giving him that not today vibe. Oh, but Dra blah, Brian almost knocked him down with a sick elbow, but didn't seem to be quiet enough. And, you know, similar to uh, Frozen Lake versus Froppy, this is kind of an agi like, uh, agility versus uh, size kind of deal. Though Daniel Brian Danielson does have one big advantage over Froppy, being that he's also a technical wrestler as well. He can tie in quite the pretzel. 
Though Big Cass is also quite speedy for a size, and can deliver a pretty mean big, big boo. Sorry, it appears that my uh, lips have been... They've been a little out of it lately. Oh god, a big leg drop. What's Cass going for on top? This is not a position we're used to seeing him. Oh god, a diving empire elbow. Is this enough? A. Two. Oh god. God, I am surprised Daniel kicked out of that. He might have dropped it too soon, or Daniel's just that resilient. It's hard to tell, really, but... Oh! Oh, I'm countering that into a nice inverted DDT. Daniel Bryan Danielson really showing his brains here. Oh, guillotine here. The move that got Daniel out of the WWE. Granted, he did do it long before Roman did, but... Roman also does a pretty good guillotine, though. Like, you have to give him that. Oh, this cast slips right out of it. Let me tell you, judging by the matches I have seen, escaping a move from Brian is not an easy task, so Cass being able to do that is quite impressive. Either he's very skilled or he just has that much grease in his hair. Does Big Cass actually have greasy hair or am I just making false assumptions? I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Knowing Daniel Bryan's... Oh god, A2D. I skin that first fall after a wicked chair shot targeting Daniel Bryan's career ending neck. That thing kept him out of action for three years. Cass taking full advantage of it. We're getting a bit of a ruthless side to him. I mean, after all, Daniel Bryan was Cass's last feud in WWE before he uh, got released due to issues. And oh god, a DDT onto the chair. Always bring back that yes movement thing. He may, be, he may have his hippie gimmick here in uh, AWS, but it seems that he's still channeling a little bit of that yes energy. Oh, can we see the big comeback? He slowly turns him around. And... Kicks him in the dick. Alright, that is an interesting new way to do a comeback. Uh, now just, just kick him in the balls. I wonder who's the face and who's the heel in this feud. I guess Brian would be the face since he was the one who was fault, who was unceremoniously attacked. But I don't know. At the same time, he's kind of displaying the heel behavior. Yes, 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 and yes. Bring back those yes kicks. All right, maybe he is the face of this feud after all. Maybe I'm being too harsh on the, uh, you know, the environmental protester man. After all, I mean, who doesn't want to see a nicer planet? I mean, okay, some people don't, but, uh... Okay, anyway, Daniel Bryan, he appears to be going for something... Or, I'm sorry, Daniel Bryan Danielson. I forgot that Phillips strongly insisted on combining the names. Oh, he's got him in the... The Yes, No, LaBelle lock. Oh, the Fickle lock, there we go. But Cass immediately slipping right out of it, just burying his finisher in live television. How un... Fortunate. Always oh, going for that Chris Hero elbow. But Cass counters it into an East River crossing. That's tilt to whirl side slam. Not the pretty wicked move, honestly. Like, I mean, oh god, but Daniel Bryan Danielson able to kick out. Impressive move by the by the man who. Oh. God, ah, God, once again, just targeting the neck. Hey, two, but Brian kicks out of the big boot. Again, that is... Brian just show... Brian's got the defense and Cass's got the offense to match it, so these two are quite evenly matched. Despite, uh, like, you wouldn't think so, but... Like I said, Daniel Bryan, Danielson, he is a former chick. Oh my god, he just rock bottom a man to nearly twice his height. The strength of Daniel, of DBD. I got real tired of saying his full name, like, Philip, come on. How many times do I have to say the fact that his name is Daniel Bryan Danielson? Like, okay, we get the freaking joke, okay? His name was Daniel Bryan in WWE, and he's Bryan Danielson, both the Indies and the AEW. That doesn't mean we need to always combine the freaking names because you want to be an indecisive little butthole. Like, he did this with freaking John Moxley, too, during his stint in AWS. He called him Dean the John Moxley Ambrose, or John the Dean Ambrose Moxley. Like, 
like that does that does not flow off the tongue very well. That like that, that's just a cluster of names to use as more clickbait. Like, what's the deal with that? Come on, Philip. Work on your marketing, man. If it weren't for Doug Dimodome, you would not be a millionaire. I'm telling you right now. That's right. I'm calling you out, Philip. Always going for more yes kicks. Oh God, but he gets tackled instead. Wicked tackle. That's not enough to keep the the man with the heart of steel down. Daniel Bryan Danielson just with the ah, God damn it. Let's get the oh God another big boot. Another one. Hey, two. The big cast manages to get a two on zero victory. A big win for the big man. That was quite a brutal match these two had. There was some strong shots, some strong style moves, quite a lot of submissions, a lot of shots at the neck. Even saw a chair shot cause a pinfall victory, which is quite rare, but uh, seems I need to. US, it seems to be a little more common on this show, considering it was also how uh, one of the potato qualifying matches ended as well. It was with uh, Joe Mama bludgeoning the Phantom Thief so badly with the chair that both Joker and Raiji have not been seen since. So I guess weapons have a lot more power in this show. This big cast celebrates his victory, and what the fuck? Did, 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 did big cast become a guru? Does it go to the same mountains as Ned and I? That's... I'm so confused. I'm just... I... I need to go lay down.